The January 6th committee has just been caught cold, orchestrating a massive illegal cover-up. Trump is headed for trial next year for January 6th related charges, and he's going to have subpoena power, which gives him the right to access critical documents and videos pertaining to the time period. That means the January 6th committee, whose two-year investigation produced thousands and thousands of documents, transcript, and hours and hours of deposition videos, the good, the bad, and the ugly, will be legally required to turn over whatever materials Trump requests. But as you know, primetime does not believe in coincidences. Yesterday, we uncovered that the January 6th committee has destroyed almost 50% of their evidence. The Democrat-run January 6th committee is missing one and a half terabytes of data. This is an enormous amount of material. Records of the Capitol Hill security failures, video of Trump cabinet depositions, emails, text messages, gone. And who knows what else they deleted. Remember, the January 6th committee only aired and only reported what Democrats wanted you to know about January 6th. Anything they didn't want you to know about the 6th wasn't made public. And it looks like it was destroyed. We might never get to the bottom of January 6th because the January 6th committee destroyed their evidence. This has never happened before in Congress. The Benghazi committee, the 9-11 committees, all of that evidence is warehoused. None of it was deleted. Now, once the congressional investigations completed, all of the information is transferred to the archives. And congressional sources tell primetime that losing or destroying committee evidence is not at all common practice. And it's also a crime to destroy congressional documents. It's a felony. That means the January 6th committee, if Trump wins this election, could be charged with felonies for destroying congressional materials. Now, for two years, Democrats conveyed to us they only care about two things, preserving documents and January 6th. So why would they destroy January 6th documents? And why do Democrats continue to get away with destroying evidence? Hillary acid washes emails and takes hammers to iPhones. Obama's IRS accidentally erased records. And in a vicious legal twist, Biden's prosecutor, Jack Smith, cracked into Donald Trump's Twitter account. Smith got a search warrant from Obama, Biden, D.C. judges, and Elon Musk handed over Trump's Twitter account. And no one told Trump. It was all done in the dark. Former president had this to say. Just found out that crooked Joe Biden's DOJ secretly attacked my Twitter account, making it a point not to let me know about this major hit on my civil rights. My political opponent is going crazy trying to infringe on my campaign for president. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Does the First Amendment still exist? Did deranged Jack Smith tell the unselects to destroy and delete all evidence? These are dark days in America. So the Democrats broke into his campaign, his house, and his Twitter account, and they destroyed nearly half the January 6th evidence that Trump needs to defend himself at trial. Former House Oversight Committee Chairman, Congressman Darrell Issa joins me now. You've been in Congress a long time. Have you ever heard of a congressional committee just destroying evidence? Never. As a matter of fact, just the opposite. Uh, in a normal committee, both sides have copies of it. And when the chairman changes, it remains with the committee. And that, that information is, is archived and kept. And I, I'll tell you something, Jesse. I believe we will be able to recover some of that. The, the challenge is going to be going to the individuals with subpoenas and going into all the backups that have occurred during the intervening period and seeing how much can be recovered. But the fact is, it should never have been destroyed. It should never have been lost. And if they've carefully covered their tracks, then they are clearly guilty of uh, a deliberate crime. So if it is recoverable, that's going to hamstring the former president's subpoena because they're going to have to like dilly dally and go down different crazy street corners instead of picking from one big pot. That's a crime. It's actually in a federal code. You cannot destroy congressional materials. Do you expect these January 6th committee members to be charged for this? And do you think they should be? Well, the ones that are still in Congress might very well face a censure for what they participated in. Uh, one of the challenges, of course, is it isn't just that the information to defend the president may be gone. It's that they've already used one side to accuse him to get where they are today. 
The fact is the charges against the president stemmed in no small part from the January 6th collection and turnover that occurred under complete Democrat control. So, uh, Congressman, why would they, you know, look through Donald Trump's Twitter account? Why does Jack want to see that? Well, one thing I'll say about U.S. attorneys is they want to see everything if you give them a budget. Normally, U.S. attorneys have constraints. They only have so much money, so they look for the likely places. In this case, we're talking about one of the most active accounts ever, and uh, it will cost a fortune to go through it. But he's not concerned about that because he's charged the president. Now he has to find evidence to convict him, and he'll spend as much money as he as he has to to do that. Yeah, it's like a search and destroy mission. That's why a lot of House Republicans want to defund Jack Smith's office. Earlier this week, you saw that emotional hearing with these Gold Star families. A lot of them were disrespected. 